this area is absolutely stunning. It's, it's literally like we've walked out into a completely different world, a different country altogether. There's a really interesting myth about a dragon, which I'm hoping we can find. What? Like, I, yeah, exactly. I'll tell you more about that. There's like a, there's some sort of a structure somewhere that I'm going to try and find and hunt out. We were just heading out the door on today's adventure and we saw across the road, these two people look at us and then they followed us and, and stopped us and said, we've seen your videos. <laughs> and that was our first meeting. His name was Adrian and he was with his mum. Yeah. And it was our first meeting of um, Some local, someone in Poland someone in that Poland. seen our videos. Yeah. It was so cool to meet them. Thanks for stopping by Adrian yeah. and, and, and your mum there. It was really nice of you guys to say hi. It was, it was, we didn't really expect it. Um, after only one or two videos for someone to say that but anyway today is our adventure is taking us to two pretty cool places we think the first one is to us so the first one is, is a castle which is just up around the corner here which to us reads as wow wow uh, if English is your first language it was read of that but in the Polish pronunciation we think it's Wawel castle because yeah. they say the W's as V's uh, we'll go into more detail when we get up there, and then, but then the second stop sounds really cool. Is an old tobacco factory that is now completely changed, and it's got in this like uh, this new sort of post-industrial like gathering. Awesome. It's Danger's actually the one that planned today's adventures as yeah. well. Sometimes we mix it up. We, we sometimes take turns. So I've briefed Stace on today's adventures. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'll fill in and her on some of the details as I sort of reveal that with you guys as well. And once we see, yeah, what this first castle stop looks like, anyway. Just walked up into the castle grounds through this old sort of historic gate there. This is the main castle we think here. And then this is so awesome how the grass or the uh, the plants, sorry, the leaves and everything are all along the front of this building here. It's just this big open area. There's a nice breeze up here because it's definitely hot again today even though it's overcast. What do you think? It's cool. We haven't been here long, but we just walked through this like huge archway. It was covered in like leaves and everything. It's really beautiful. And also it's a really good spot to come to like see the rest of the city as well. So you can see the river from here. I like it. Yeah. So I think this is much like the Prague one where there is, there's the, the main castle there, but the, the castle is in essence the whole grounds, which comes right the way along here. And I can't see it from here, but I think there's also a cathedral over the other side. This is a better area to talk about. We'll show you what Stace was talking about. This is a park that seems to run down by the river's edge here. There's a bridge that goes across. There always seems to be people selling ice cream as well. I can almost guarantee someone down there is selling ice cream. If you're, if you're from Krakow, if you're from Poland, please let us know what is with the uh, ice cream addiction. We see it absolutely everywhere. And then over this side, you can see everyone's doing, uh, it's like you can come down here and do like the boat tours around the city and stuff, which is similar to what we did in Berlin. It'd be a really cool way to actually get around and see a lot more. One thing that we like to do is try and do something called KBs, which we just call knowledge bombs basically. <laughs> this is all the stuff that I'd figured out beforehand that I was going to share with Stace and sort of like drop about this place here. So it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is pretty cool. In fact, there's a few places in Krakow alone that are uh, heritage sites. Like the square? Like, like the square, square, which we actually forgot to mention here. So at one point in time, um, the president actually lived here. This was like the quarters for the president. There's also been multiple fires, so obviously it's been rebuilt at different stages as well. There's a really interesting myth about a dragon, which I'm hoping we can find. There's like, I, yeah, exactly. I'll tell you more about that. There's like a, there's some sort of a structure somewhere that I'm going to try and find and hunt out. 
and over time it's been occupied by various different armies as like a stronghold because of like they said there's this view over the city I think it must have been just a really good strong point for armies to be based mm. to be able to see a lot and any invasions and everything but these days it's turned into a museum which you know is to preserve the history of Poland and of Krakow and everything that's led to this point today. area is absolutely stunning it's it's literally like we've walked out into a completely different world a different country altogether this cathedral back here is so incredible there's all these different parts of the structure that you can see that it's been rebuilt or built at different times with different methods different types of like brick and aluminium and then there's the, the gold and the brass and the concrete sort of all combined into this really unique looking structure because it's it's not all the same and then there's this massive beautiful grounds right in the middle of the area it's actually more peaceful in here than what I thought it was going to be, despite the fact that there's all these tour groups going past, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I should mention as well, there's loads of great looking cafes and restaurants and uh, little places that you can sit down under an umbrella, get a drink and relax for a little while. Yeah. What are you up to? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> there's a sign that said there's the Dragon's Den here. And you're buying something? I'm, I'm just going to put some money in and pay. It's three zwati per person. Uh, <laughs> Gonna put and put ten in and go into this thing. I'm hoping this is where the uh, the the statue or the the. Um, there's a dragon in there. Yeah, some sort of yeah. a dragon down there. It says there's a dragon's den, so it must be right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty low, isn't it? Yeah. I'm very close to knocking my head on these. So we don't really know what's going on here. We're walking down a spiral stairway. It's getting very dark. I'm already quite dizzy, even oh, after walking around here. Should only... talking about the glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, Stacey's glasses are prescription. prescription, so you just look like you're being real cool and wearing your sunnies inside, man. Trust me, it's not cool. Okay, let's see where this goes. I don't think my lighting's going to be very good down here, but we've just walked down about 400 stairs. It's so much colder down here. You're going to change your glasses. Okay, so much colder down here. We don't really know what we're heading towards or what is in here. It's a bit of light here. There we go. That's the statue, the statue I was talking about. But what did we just pay for? Air conditioning. <laughs> What's that? Old school air conditioning. <laughs> so it was I, so cold down there. It was. I should have mentioned there was actually a guided tour option. Oh yeah. But it was still only like two minutes of walking through and like 20 minutes walking down the stairs. I liked it. It was fun. <laughs> it was cool though. All right, here is the statue. So after our not so guided tour, <laughs> I get to share with you now what the story is behind the dragon. So I'm not sure what the year was, but apparently there was a situation where there was this dragon that obviously lived in this den that we've just walked through, and it was a bit of a, a nuisance for the city. Basically, if, it, if this dragon didn't get given cattle as food, for every piece of cattle it didn't get, it would take, it would kill a person. So if you didn't give it- Where did you, you read this? <laughs> this is a myth. If you didn't give it, if oh. the dragon didn't get the cattle, then it would go and kill one person. So it was causing a bit of a nuisance for, for the town. And so mm. basically the king at the time had said, we need to get rid of this, this dragon. And so his sons put sulfur in one of the, the cattle, oh, the offerings. Smart. And then basically, yeah, so then the dragon ate the cattle, got sick, went down to the river, which is only just here and needed to drink because it couldn't get yeah. rid of it and then so that's when they came out they attacked it and they slayed the dragon i don't know where he found <laughs> this information but it's been a fun story i'd have to be pretty creative to come up with stuff like that <laughs> all right we're done here around this castle area it's been really cool but now we're going to head out and we're going to go to this other area the old tobacco factory
called Dolnich Milnov. Pronunciation, maybe not so I good. I think you nailed it. Oh, yeah, I was out <laughs> nailed it. It's tons of bars, tons of restaurants, really casual setting. Uh, there's a lot of like craft beer, very Instagram friendly, very sort of hip, cool vibes. And a lot of you guys have messaged us and said that we have to come to this place. <laughs>